Blue skies means fun days. Helping skydivers with tips and techniques about safety, training and fun jumping from those who know. Welcome to Blue Skies Fun Days. Just after the ever popular question of when can I downsize, the next common question is whether the tunnel is worth the investment. If you can learn it all in the sky, why spend all that money in the tunnel? To discuss this question and a few more, I had a chat with one of Australia's top tunnel and free fly coaches. This is Matt Bogue. Uh, this was during a weather hold, which is a bit of a hint as to when tunnel can be good. We discussed the value of using the wind tunnel as a training tool for skydiving. It's probably the best tool you could probably uh utilized to kind of uh, speed up your free fall segment of your skydive. It doesn't really help with your canopy or your exits and stuff, but if you really wanted to fast track your free fall skills, tunnel is the one for it, 100%. Like the guy that kind of goes down the skydiver progression, he's gonna obviously be a lot more um, experienced at your exits, your break offs, your canopy flying, your landing, and that's great. Tunnel only really kind of um, speeds up your free fall. So yeah, it's like a quick way to get on those good jumps, but to remember we're putting it in the sky, there's a lot more things that tunnel can't really replicate. And, but the whole gear knowledge as well that comes with all the skydiving as well. So that's why it's always good to have like an even and a safe mix as well. But what the tunnel really teaches is body awareness, which can help with exits and tracking. Generally, like people that can carve quite well in a tunnel, whether it be head up, head down, in face, out face, they can usually do that in the sky as well. The whole relaxed approach, that is the correct way to go about both disciplines, I think. I'll very rarely tell anyone to rush anything uh, when I'm coaching them. Uh, everything's always slow and smooth, and smooth is good. To answer your question, like, um, slow smooth all the time. I wouldn't say a skydiver or a tunnel flight does it more than the opposite one. So someone that kind of like has got a bunch of jumps, they're obviously gonna be a lot comfortable in the sky. In the tunnel, it is a little different. The feeling is the same once you do both for a while. A lot of people that go from skydiving to come into the tunnel generally say that the wind feels like pushing rather than a fall sensation. Usually once you crack like your double digits, like your 10, your 20 hours, a lot of people will agree it really does start to feel the same. You can always tell who's a skydiver person versus a tunnel flyer. There's some obvious differences the more you kind of do it. And that's why I say a good even mix is great. Whatever you can afford to do, like as far as that mix goes, and if people are unsure of what a good mix is, I usually ask them first is like, um, how many jumps do you do a year? And let's say that number's 200. I go, cool, keep your jumps at 200 and anything extra that you can afford to spend, put that in the tunnel. But always like you started as a jumper, continue jumping, use the tunnel, like I said, as a tool. Um, to improve your skydiving. Don't sacrifice jumps a year to bang out tunnel. It's, you're kind of going backwards. You're waiting to be improving your skydiving. I've seen people sell rigs to do tunnel and it's, it's not something that I'd really back. Whatever you want to use it for, which is most people want to use it as a tool to improve their skydiving techniques. So uh, yeah, keep it as a tool and keep a good healthy mix. And you can bang out like on equivalent like 60 plus jumps a day in a tunnel, like as far as free fall time goes. Uh, and you'll never do that in the sky, which is why you see so many people kind of like grow a lot of like skill in the free fall and all that kind of stuff quite quickly. Especially like when it's raining, tunnel's bloody great. Ultimately, you don't want to stick to that just one thing. You want to do a bit of both. You always want to do a little bit of tunnel, get it back in the sky. Keep it in the sky, do a little bit more tunnel back in the sky. Keep mixing it up, keep mixing it up. Man, I think I'm not gonna lie, tunnel's expensive. Take it from me, I, I don't make that much money. So I, for me, look at it, the price it is per hour, it's expensive. Not many people know that those machines cost like 15 plus million dollars to build, like they're a very expensive thing, yeah. When I did it, it was a lot more expensive. Now our tunnel has become cheaper because there's more tunnels like in the world, the market's more saturated. But it's still expensive, man. Like now I say like $1,000 an hour is considered a good price, but $1,000 an hour, it is expensive. It's $1,000. I always tell people to look at it as an investment in yourself and you will see good results and you're gonna be pleased with those results and then you're gonna continue to keep doing it. You're gonna make the time, you're gonna make uh, the effort to continue to do it if you really want it. If you're doing it with five or six people, yeah. Like it probably is a bit cheaper. You're dividing it by five or six, but you're also, I think you're dividing the progression by five or six as well. When you're doing one-on-one, -on -one, it's all about you. You're getting 
absolute everything out of that for yourself. If you're doing team stuff, like great. If you're if you're okay at a certain discipline like belly or or uh, VFS, yeah, it, it does get a lot cheaper down the track. But those people that kind of focus and do the one-on-one -on -one stuff, like you really do see good progression there. But if you put $1,000 in the sky, you put $1,000 in a glass tube, you're gonna get results. Me personally, I reckon you're probably gonna see a lot more free fall skill uh, improvement in the tunnel. But yeah, like, like you were saying, man, as a team, yeah, divided by four, divided by six, it's a, it is a lot cheaper. Especially when it's a rainy day, you spend 200 bucks, you're having a great day flying all day, it's, it's, it's wicked. The story so far is that the tunnel can be a great training aid, albeit not cheap. The emphasis should be on individual skill development, but once you reach a team or group status, the cost can be shared. But what about negative aspects of training in the tunnel? Let's pretend I've just taken someone that's never really done many jumps, say they've got 50 jumps, they come to the tunnel, let's say they do 10 hours, which is very popular. They're gonna come to me, all they're used to is 60 second free fall belly jumps. By the time they finish with me, their body is used to flying for three to five minutes. And then when they go back to the sky, they'll go, oh, that's right, I'm skydiving now, it's gonna be like 60 seconds again, but it's not. You've just done 10 hours, your progression has gone through the roof. You're probably gonna be flying, sit flying, head down flying. Your fall rate's increased, your jumps are gonna actually be gone for like 35 seconds. And that's what catches a lot of people out. And that's like one little aspect, I wouldn't call it negative, but it catches a lot of people out and it can be, um, it can be deadly. And the other one is that same person that's got all this skill, they're flying super fast speeds, they've probably still got a like an old bloody container that's not used to these free flying things and they don't take their gear into consideration. So I usually say to people, if they're gonna invest 10 grand in the tunnel, like maybe maybe invest like eight grand in the tunnel, put another couple of grand into your rig and make sure your rig's gonna be able to, to suit those new free fall speeds and disciplines. And it does catch people out and I've seen it over the years. Um, it's only been happening the last few years as tunnel prices have come down and people are able to bang out 10 plus hours a session. So. Uh, but as far as negative aspects goes, I wouldn't call them negative, but they can catch people out and it, and it can be pretty nasty. To summarize, the tunnel is a great training tool. It isn't cheap, but the level of progression is generally higher in the tunnel. And when it is a wet day at the drop zone, the tunnel can be a great place to be and have fun. See you next time on Blue Skies Fun Days. For more tips and techniques, click subscribe.